if you're getting into mining in EVE Online, your first ship is going to be the Venture. It is the entry level ship. It doesn't require Omega in order to pilot. It's going to be the very first thing you're going to be going out to the belts with. So in this video, I'm going to cover a Tech 1 and a Tech 2 fit that will get you started. If you're first starting off in EVE Online, your capacitor and CPU and power grid skills are not going to be that high. So I'm developing this build around the idea of it being a entry level new player experiencing this. So a lot of this stuff will change. These numbers will change as you start getting more skilled. Starting off in the high slots here, you're going to want minor ones on each of these. You can only fit two on the venture and you want to cap, you want to make sure you have both of those on there. This third slot is kind of open to interpretation. You can put whatever you can fit or you know find as utility there. For the mid slots, I you, I recommend putting a survey scanner one on here. This allows you to scan rocks and see how much M3 is left in them. And then also if you want an afterburner, a 1MN afterburner one. This will increase your overall speed whenever it's turned on. And then your it, I use an enduring multi-spectrum shield hardener. It's going you know, to give you a 23.2% resistance, shield resistance across the board. For your low slot, if you're mining, you want to be using a mining laser upgrade, Tech 1. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to increase the yield on your minor ones. So right now you see this is at 164 M3 per 60 seconds. If you turn this off, it's going to go down to 156, right? And that kind of stuff scales. This capacitor, you know, numbers are not exactly what you would normally see. It's going to be a little bit higher because you're not always going to have server scanners not going to be running full time. It cycles once when you use it. So if you turn it off, you'll see it goes up a little bit more. You're also not going to be running your afterburner while you're mining either. So this build with my skills, I have level five capacitor management. CPU management and power grid management and I'm sitting at 69.5 so this ship is stable. The align time is going to be different from what you might see on your screen but you can increase this by leveling evasive maneuverings up to 5 as well. For the rigs since you're starting off and your power grid CPU and capacitor management skills may not be maxed out you might need to use some combination of a small processor overclocking unit. This is going to give you a little bit more CPU to work with I use two of them on this fit and then also a small capacitor control unit. This is going to give you a little bit more as well. As far as drones go, the Venture can hold two light combat drones. This one I have with uh, Hobgoblin Tech 1s in there. Now, depending on what faction rats you are going to be facing off against and what region, your uh, drone selection will be different. But keep in mind that you can fit two in here to help fight off rats as well. Now, the Venture has a or hold capacity of 5,000 M3. It'll take you a little while to fill this up with, you know, Tech 1 MLUs. But as you start upgrading your MLUs and your miners, you'll be able to fill up this 5,000 M3 much quicker as you skill up. Now let's move on to the Tech 2 variant. Not a lot changes. You're just kind of upgrading things as you get more skillful. So for the high slots, instead of using minor ones, you're going to be using minor twos. As you can see, these are going to do 255 and three per 60 seconds. And if you're low slot, as you probably would have guessed, mining laser upgrade twos. And obviously, if you turn that off, right, it goes down. So you want to make sure that that's in there for mining. You can also run a service scanner two, which is going to have a larger kilometer radius for the scan radius. And then a 1M in Afterburner 2. So we're kind of just taking everything from Tech 1 up to Tech 2. I do keep the Multispectrum Shield Hardener the same as the Tech 1 fit. Just because the Venture is not a tough ship. It's kind of paper thin for the most part. And the requirements to run a Multispectrum Shield Hardener 2 as far as skills. And also for CPU and capacitor kind of just overburdens this hull. So keeping the Enduring on here means that you have a little bit more capacitor and CPU to work with. You can also use a capacitor control unit, Tech 1s, and processor overclocking units to help balance everything out depending on what your skills are. And then also instead of using Tech 1 drones, you can run Tech 2 drones which will have higher damage or depending on which faction ones 
they'll be a little bit faster or have more shield or armor hit points. But overall, the venture is a great entry level mining ship. You're not going to be in it very long as you start skilling up and everything. You'll be moving into barges like Procurers, Retriever, or Coveter, depending on what you're going to be doing. I hope this video helped you guys kind of nail down a fit or understand kind of how the inner workings of the venture and kind of what can be put on there for best use. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.